Good morning, guys. Uh, just want to uh, show you uh, how to uh, calculate the difference uh, between the two months uh, um, without the sacrifice of the appearance of uh, uh, you know one month in our data. Right? Um, it is better to uh, share with you on this uh, on this uh, table now. So I have uh, the, the um, let's say I had a product category I put it in, and I have the sales uh, of uh, January and February, and I want to make the, I want to show the difference between the two months. Right? So I put print this uh, order date in, uh, and then I um, uh, convert it to the month. I'm sorry, to the month. Uh, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I just set up two months so let me put it in the future uh, first of all it just set one year okay and then second one is I filter uh, by month that touch only two months so now I print sales into uh, I print sales um, let's say I print sales into here so I have uh, uh, I have uh, two month sales uh, January and February and I want to see the difference here between uh, February and January for the for the total easy right you can go to the grand total here and just insert one more column but for the difference between the uh, February minus uh, January so if I use the function uh, in the table calculation I do the difference so I have it here right? but the number of January and February is appear. So we see uh, some people doesn't like uh, and they want to show January and February here and also to show the difference. Uh, so we see the, 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 the first way to do uh, to see the difference between two months. I have a second way to do is um, I will start from the beginning. Uh, I will, so what I'm going to do is the first one is I do the uh, uh, calculated field we call that the January sales, so if the month order equal January, and then sale, and then uh, I have the January sale, uh, and then also I do similar for February, but if month uh, so this sale, so and then uh, what I do is uh, this um, I do the uh, what I call it uh, this uh, increase or decrease. So I just had the summaries uh, of the February sale minus the summary of, uh, of January sale. So I have it, and I bring it into the table. Right. So I bring it uh, 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 first one. I bring the subcategory in. Then I bring the January sales. I bring the February sales. Uh, let's format it. Uh, Number here is zero decimal, I think the same for this one. Okay, okay, and then now I print uh, this um, the difference between two months in. Uh, so I print uh, what I call uh, decrease, increase, decrease. I print it here. Right? Right. So now I have the same uh, the same uh, result at the previous one. Right. I have the same result at the previous one. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I need to filter the months and the years here as well. So let that uh, let bring the uh, order day in here. Filter years. So I, I almost have, uh, is that the same? Yeah, 311973. Uh, 311973. Okay, so I have almost the same result here, but in here I still showing the January and February sale without the uh, remove the view of uh, detail of each month, right? Um, I want to highlight a little bit. Uh, so I will print uh, the. Uh, in, yeah. 
the most edge uh, in the different color. Uh, bring this into the possible. I, I will format it later. I, I will format it later. But uh, you see, you see the uh, you see the way that you cannot, uh, uh, you will not uh, sacrifice your 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 visualization on detail of each one. Uh, okay, I hope it uh, you find useful uh, in your exercise. And